Right, here's another thing I've learned today. See, he's trying to get this top timing pin in as a real pace. I got these ones from, as I told you, eBay, and the fit is a bit tight. So what I decided to do, couldn't get it all the way in, so I started with a, a five millimeter drill bit. Right, I'll just show you it come back here. So if that then goes in there. Oh. Let's see if I can find it there. There you go, it goes all the way in. Sorry about this. See that drill bit goes all the way in and I'll I'll pull it back out and show you how far out and it goes. So you see it goes all the way right into the cylinder head for where my fingers are. And even I'll try a a six mil drill bit. Let me see. See even it goes that's a great fit as well. Let me take a torch on this. You can see that, so that goes in, that goes in brilliantly. That means the car's timed okay at the top here, so I'll take that out. I'll keep my fingers on the end, I'll show you how far it goes in. So there you go, that goes right into the cylinder head. So, let me see. So that, that's what I, I'm looking at the door, paying attention. So that pin should go all the way in, but see, trying to get these pins in, man. Murder. That, that pin's not going all the way in, but that is that's the spot that I want. I've got the pin in a bit tighter now, but oh boy, that's a tight fit. Now you see it there, so that's just about all the way in, that's the best fit I've. I'm scared to push it in too much further in case I don't get the thing back down, but one thing I've learned is these teeth mark at the top, this is TDC, corresponds to that elongated bit at the top for the, the camshaft. So that corresponds to that and uh, let me see, the other distinguishing marks are down at the bottom there, there's, that's a couple of teeth there, I don't know if you can see that. Lines up with the, the cam cover. I think there's big ones to go. Another way of measuring it is underneath this thing you need a mirror but that's a paste to line it up with a timing mark but there you go another thing I'll show you was under the car Get this in. I'll line that up. in order to get that guy to line up you'll see there's a there's a little mark there so this guy's got to slide in. Sorry, that's got to slide in. So the way you do this, you can't actually put it on top and put it in like that. You've actually got to slide it along. And then, then the thing slides right in. As you see there. The two, the two little marks. See the arrow pointing down the way. And the wee arrow in the wee valley pointing up the way. And it goes through. into the, the plate there. So this is me back at my favourite car again, the Passat. And you can see I took one of the viewers comments and I thought I would do that. Eh? So what we have on the channel A, the blue channel, is the pressure transducer. And on channel B, the red trace, that is the crank sensor. So you can see there, the voltage goes up to, what's that, 2.8, say. So that must be about 20 bar. And But the most important thing here is what I showed you in previous videos about this Passat as a sync notch. So you can see it comes up there and it's like three notches after the main sync area. Whereas, according to the other one, well, I've never actually done the pressure transducer, but we've done AC, volt, AC volts the last time. It should be back here, it should be six notches before the sink notch. So according to my calculations, if you go between there and there, we're 39, 39 degrees out, say 40 degrees out. So uh, that test works, it's quite a good test, the pressure transducer, just to look at that. But one of the f one of the drawbacks of this test, it's a wee test, it's a wee bit more intensive that you have to remove a glow plug or if you kind of get the glow plugs, you've got to remove an injector, which is time consuming. So 
I think for this purpose, if you look at the AC, the AC one, that's a quicker test, and it shows you exactly the same. So you see that. So that's your crank, and that's your AC voltage at the battery. So look, that's three notches, and if we go back to the the first one, you can see that's three notches as well, and uh, and you can see well we we have three notches there, but we'll go back to the six notches, so you can see there you go. For it, so it works the AC voltage. If you put your scope, see you see that up there, AC, AC couple it, and uh, I put it to five volts for AC coupling, and that trace is brilliant and it's quick. So this is what it should look like. I'm talking about. I'm saying to you, oh, it should be back there. So here's the one. This is what it should look like. See that there? So there's your sink notch. And that's using AC voltage again, so it should be six back. So that one's spot on, and that is what my other traces should look like. So there is nothing left now to do. I've been over it and over it, so the gearbox is going to be removed next week. And when I get that done, I'll take a picture. And what I'm expecting to see is the crankshaft oil seal a speed ring out of position. And if it isn't, wow. <laughs> Uh, all my theory has been wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure that is the case because uh, the the crankshaft ring on the this Golf and on the Passat are exactly the same, so it should be the same. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Cheers.